Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you what's on my iPad mini and my current favorite apps and a couple of accessories. iPad Pro being my main iPad for work, my iPad mini is mainly for entertainment and playing games. So this is my iPad mini 6 in space gray. Here I'm using the paper-like screen protector. For the accessories, I'm currently using this cute folio case from Casetify. As you guys know, I've been using Casetify cases for my iPhone 13 for a while now and I think it's safe to say that I'm in love with every single cases from them. For those who are not familiar, Casetify is a tech accessories brand with endless design and customization options. Not only do they have cute iPhone cases, but they also have cases for other Apple products such as iPad, AirPods, MacBook, and many more. They have an extensive range of cute and fun prints to choose from, or you can always customize your own case to match your aesthetic. Castify prints are also available across many different Apple products so you can match your favorite print across all your tech accessories. So if you're looking for cute yet protective cases for your Apple devices, you can go to castify.com slash FeliciaYT to save 15% off your order. What I like about this folio case is that I can quickly turn it into an adjustable stand when I'm watching videos and reading. It also has card and Apple pencil slots and spacious inner pockets for your notes or cash. I like that the material is also durable, scratch resistant, and easy to clean because I carry my iPad around a lot. This is the Ultra Impact Crush case with a print from my favorite artist they collaborated with. Just like their iPhone cases, they have the Ultra Impact cases for iPad as well. And of course, this case is made from recycled phone cases. It also supports wireless charging so you don't have to remove your case whenever you need to connect or charge your Apple Pencil. So the first thing I have on my home screen is this cute widget from Como Widget. They have lots of cute battery, clock, and calendar widgets to choose from. Some of them are free to use, but you have to pay to use certain widgets. There are small, medium, large, and extra large widgets that you can add to your home screen. But for some reason, I find that there are certain widgets that are not fitted for the iPad mini widget size, which causes the images to be a little bit cropped. But if you're using the app on larger iPad models, these widgets work just fine. Next to these widgets, I have YouTube and Netflix. Then I have a to-do list app from the app called Doing Doing. It's such a cute name. This app is pretty simple and easy to use, but also makes a cute widget for your home screen. On the second row, I have Apple TV, Spotify to listen to music and podcasts. Then I have Procreate, which I mainly use to edit my thumbnail with. On the last row, I have my favorite coloring app. I've mentioned this app several times in my past videos. It's basically a very relaxing coloring app that offers high quality illustrations from local and renowned artists. It's available for iPad and iPhone, but I mostly use it on my iPad since using Apple Pencil to color is more convenient for me and is very therapeutic as well. Then I have Pinterest and Instagram, feel free to follow me, I will post reels and stories there more often. Next, I have My Mind app, which I mentioned in my previous What's on my iMac video. So it's basically a visual bookmarking app where you can save notes, inspiration, and images in one place enhanced with artificial intelligence. It will categorize and analyze the things you save so you can easily find them again. Then I have the books app where I read my ebook on. The next thing I have is this games folder. I have a bunch of games on this iPad because it's very convenient to play games on. It's also the perfect iPad size for playing games in my opinion. I'm actually planning on filming a video about some of my favorite chill and relaxing games. So let me know in the comment section below if you'd like that kind of videos more on this channel.
Then on my second page, I only have two folders. One is the miscellaneous folder where I have all the default apps that I don't feel like deleting because you know, I might need those someday, but who knows. The second folder is the productivity folder where I have the five minute journal. But first, I wanted to apologize for how shaky this is. My tripod is so fragile, it couldn't stay still when I'm writing on my iPad. Then I have my other to-do list apps. So yeah, that's it for what's on my iPad mini. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!